James Monis, thank you for joining me today. One of my favorite producers is Hawk and Horse. I've reviewed a good number of their wines and I think their wines are stellar. So stay tuned for this review. It is a Red Hills Lake County Block 3 Cabernet Sauvignon 2016 vintage. Stay tuned and I'll tell you more about this lovely wine. So this is a fantastic producer. I think um, I have many accolades and praises. I've tasted many of their wines for a long period of time and find that the winemaking style just elevates year over year in a way that shows that this lovely region uh, is just really primed for Cabernet Sauvignon Petit Verdot and many other varieties as well. And this is an outstanding, beautiful Cabernet Sauvignon that I bring out my uh, Riedel Somme glass because I think it deserves it and it really is going to optimize this experience. So this is a lovely site up to 2200 feet above sea level, 18 acres in total, and it's also uh, red volcanic soil, which is also another great distinction point here. It's Demitter certified, so it's a great caring for, you know, everything on the ranch itself. So they have beautiful Scottish Highland cattle, the eponymous uh, hawk and horse as well. And uh, so it's a really beautiful site and great and outstanding wines. So this wine to me is uh, representative of just what beauty and magic can come from Lake County. When you're wanting a very special Cabernet Sauvignon, this is one to try. And it's not the one to you know, try once a year, but to try more often. And for that outstanding summer dinner that you're preparing for your family, or that winter evening meal that is really needing a very specific, beautiful wine. This is that prototype that you think about your, your Cabernet Sauvignon tasting like. 95% of this is Cabernet Sauvignon, 5% is Petit Verdot, which I love. I know there are producers who have 100% Cabernet Sauvignon, but I love that touch of just another Bordeaux variety and it changes year over year, right? Because that's gonna be in the winemaking trial to see what is optimized for that particular vintage. So this wine is a 300 case production, 14.4% ABV, and spends 25 months in French oak. So I love this Riedel Bordeaux glass. It's fantastic for wines like this. I don't bring it out for all my wines, but only for those special wines that I wanna be experiencing, optimizing, and tasting these wines to get the fullness of this wine. So I love the um, the graciousness of this particular style of Riedel. It's, um, first of all, it's very open. It's large format. It uh, allows you to swirl with uh, no worries about spillage. And what I like about it is the uh, aromas that come from this is fantastic. And on the nose here is blackberry leather, a bit of moist red clay earth, sanded cedar, and a mix of uh, ground spices. And next, the palate characterization. So on the palate is Loch Ness Blackberry, which is an heirloom blackberry, tarragon, which I love absolutely, and Cabernet Sauvignon, a bit of bay leaf, white pepper, a mix of spices and a violet finish. This is a 95 point wine out of 100 points. And I looked online, I don't, I'm not gonna commit to the pricing on this because I didn't see it in the tech sheet. But what I would say is look down below for information from the producer. Looking online, their most expensive wine is $80. When you compare to other regions in the United States for Cabernet Sauvignon, that is uh, actually a really good price point for high, high quality wine. So thank you for watching. I appreciate your, your support. Now, I'll definitely place the link for this producer down below so you can order these wines. So questions and comments, list those down below. Again, more information on this producer and where you can order these wines from. And uh, you know, also give a like. That's where the subscribe button is to see the latest videos that I am producing. Also share this video. And if you do all those things, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And uh, let's stay connected. I'm on a variety of social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. Today, you'll find me on my podcast as well, which is on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. And let's stay connected. And I appreciate you watching again. Stay tuned for more. Sante.